Okay, this uh, video is about using the MG90S or the Tower Pro SG90 servo. I've got them hooked up to my V913 and I haven't bound it yet, but um, we can take a look at the servos. They're not aligned, they're not centered. So when I do bond it, let's see what happens. Okay, so they didn't go to the, well, they're not centered. So you do have to pull the servo arm off and recenter it. So it's 90 degrees to the direction of travel or as close as you can get it. This is the SG90, an analog nylon gear servo. This is the metal gear analog also. And uh, it's the Tower Pro MG90S, although it doesn't have a label on it anymore. So anyway, once you've got them centered, you have to check the direction of travel to make sure it's going to correspond to what you actually have in the stock servos. And they're mounted like this. And this one, I believe, is on the aileron. So if I move the aileron, that's to the left. It goes up. That's correct. And down. This one is for the elevator servo, and again, it's mounted like this. So if I push forward, it goes up, pull back, it comes down. So why did I pick these two? I think an earlier video showed that the SG90 is already a perfect fit. The nylon gear, the metal gear is just a little bit longer than the stock, but with um, enough clearance here I think to make it work. So that's it. And just make sure whatever servos you do get not only have the right direction, these arms may not fit the stock arms. You may have to use the ones that come with it and you want to make sure that you've got them long enough. If not you can always add an extension to them like I did with these. You can use almost anything to extend it. And these are nothing more than the small screws that come out of the back of these servos. I always keep them. You can put them in there and then cut them off, super glue the whole thing, and you've got an extension if you need it. I don't use them on this one. I could. That's it.